Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Now today I'm going to make some biscuits or cookies and these are going to be a plain speculus biscuit. Now speculars um, are a, a Dutch biscuit and there's a German version and a Belgian version as well that they make uh, in the build up to Christmas and they have a, a spice in them or speculous spices which is a mix of various things like cinnamon and ginger and nutmeg and cloves um, but I've just bought some moulds from weekendbakery.com and these are speculous moulds so this is one these are three different windmills and I have two smaller moulds as well so I thought I would make a, a plain version of those biscuits now um, they can be very uh, crunchy or they can be more brittle. If you put baking soda as well as baking powder, they are a more brittle biscuit. But if you leave out the baking soda, uh, they, they stay more crunchy. And that's the version that I'm going for. And so uh, I'm also going to uh, use a pastry cutter and roll some out. So just to show you that you don't need these special molds to make these biscuits. And then later in the year, uh, in the build up to Christmas, I will make some with the spices in. So the recipe for these plain ones is uh, 225 grams, which is a cup and three quarters of uh, cake or pastry flour or plain flour, 115 grams of room temperature butter, and that is uh, just slightly more than one stick, 130 grams which is uh, a half a cup plus two tablespoons of soft brown sugar and I'm using the light soft brown sugar, light brown one. Uh, 30 millilitres or two tablespoons of milk or you could use buttermilk. Seven grams which is two teaspoons of uh, baking powder and a pinch of salt. If you wanted to, um, to use the baking soda as well it would be one teaspoon. So. I'm going to set some ingredients aside and I'm simply going to cream the butter and the sugar with my hand mixer until it's all combined. And then I'm going to add in the milk and mix that in as well. That's fine. And then what I'm going to do is put my salt and my baking powder into the flour and I'm going to give that a stir around just to mix it up. And then I'm going to put that into the butter mixture and mix that and then use my hand to pull it together into a dough. So with that coming together nicely, it's clumping, I'm just going to get my hand in there and mix it into a dough. And that's very easy to do as you can see. So I'm going to form that into a disc and I'm going to chill that in the fridge for 30 minutes and then uh, I'm going to preheat my oven to 165 Celsius, about 150 Celsius with a fan, 330 Fahrenheit, 
and I've lined a couple of baking trays with parchment paper so then uh, we'll be ready after 30 minutes to um, create our speculars and bake them. So I'll be back in 30 minutes when that dough has chilled. I had my oven preheating at 165 Celsius, 150 Celsius with a fan, 330 Fahrenheit, and I've taken half of the dough out of the fridge. Um, now what I've done uh, with my moulds is that I've sprinkled them with some um, rice flour and I'm going to do one cookie at a time in the moulds. So I'm going to take an amount of the, the dough and I'm going to press it into the mould so that it fills it like that and then I'm going to cut off the excess. Now this is a bit tricky but with the excess cut off like that I'm then going to try to turn that out and that's come out quite nicely so I'm going to put that onto the baking tray and continue with the other moulds. So with some of them cut out into the moulds, I'm going to roll the rest of the pastry out to about a thickness of an eighth of an inch, three to four millimetres. Like that. And I'm simply going to use a cookie cutter to cut out some shapes like that. And I'm going to put those on the baking tray as well. I'm going to bake them in the oven for 16 to 18 minutes. So I'll just show you what they look like for the time being. We have some there, some there, and I'll roll out the remaining pastry and bake those as well. Um, and I'm going to bake these for 16 to 18 minutes until they've gone nice and crispy but they haven't browned too much. Then I'll take them out of the oven, leave them to cool on the trays for at least three minutes and then transfer them to a wire rack to cool down completely and I'll come back and show you the results. The cookies have baked and I let them cool down on the uh, baking tray and then I transferred them to the wire rack to cool completely and uh, this is what they look like. They turned out quite well. Now it does take a bit of getting used to to get them out of those moulds uh, but if uh, you use rice flour to flour the moulds between each uh, pressing, it works fine. And as I say, you don't have to use moulds. You can just roll the, the dough out into sort of uh, one eighth of an inch thicknesses and use cookie cutters to cut them out. Um, and they taste very, very good. They're nice and crunchy. I have that lovely 
buttery sweetness to them. They taste um, wonderful as well when I make them again ready for Christmas with the speculative spices. And that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there will be an eye that you can click on, which will take you to the recipe. And I'll put a link below the video for that as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.